Hello, welcome back, and today I will be showing off some of my, um, really, really old, um, Star Wars figures, or not figures, but, uh, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Either way, these are from, like, 1979, most of them, and they're, some of them are pretty rare, so, I got this from my father, so let's see. I actually got this a little while ago, as in, like, six years ago, seven years ago. So, pretty while, a long time ago, but these are some of the stickers that you could put on the case to show where the people were in the case. Just the normal backing. And then, of course, we do have this, which can basically give you a little guide to putting them in there. We actually do have most of them, not all of them, but most of them that you can see here. Or actually, almost all of them that you can see here are actually there, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's start showing these guys off. This is the IG-88 Bounty Hunter droid. So most of them don't have their guns with them, but this guy does. The guns can all be, are all stored in there, in that little door there. He's pretty cool. I have to get through him fast though. His arms and legs move, but I don't want to really do that because I don't want to break him. The Chewbacca. He's cool. We have the Star Destroyer Commander. He has his blaster. He's pretty cool. I like him. And we have Boba Fett. He's a really cool one. The classic Boba Fett figure. The jetpack. Most of these guys are pretty expensive, so happy that they're all in great condition. I have a pilot, Luke Skywalker. As the X Wing pilot, we have C three PO. He's chrome, chrome gold, so that's cool. A little hard to focus in on. There you go. He has a lot of detail in him. He's cool. We have Ben Kenobi, Obi Wan. Obi Wan. Yes. He still has his little cape. It's intact, good condition. He's riding up on the back a little, but that's how it was stored. We also have the lightsaber in the arm. Push down on that. Comes out. It still has the tip on the front. These things with the tip on the front are worth like $1,000. So that is cool. Don't want to damage that, obviously. R2-D2. As you can see, my father took really good care of these things. He has a chrome top. Don't know why he's not all chrome, but it's cool. Top can move. Don't want to do that too much, though. Then we have the hammerhead. He's cool. Let me get him out. This is the hammerhead. He's pretty cool. Let me focus in on him. I like him. Big feet. This is always one of my favorite characters in Star Wars, the Hammerheads. We have the classic Stormtrooper, the 1979 version of the Stormtrooper with the head that is unable to move. Just like with some of these figures, their heads aren't able to move. Most of them can, but some of them can't. He has his blaster. I may try and re-equip all of these guys with their weapons afterwards. For this video. I'll show you all the weapons as well at the end. Snaggletooth. He's cool. Doesn't have his gun, obviously. Like I said, most of them don't. 
the walrus man. That's what the, he was called. He's cool. He has a orange jacket. And then, of course, we have Princess Leia here. This Princess Leia is the like the one you see at the beginning of the movie. Pretty cool. Really old. That's why I like all this stuff. I'm getting into liking old stuff now. I don't know why. But it's just nice to see. I love collecting old Lego. This stuff is also stuff I would collect if it was a little more, less pricey to get. Let me get him out. This Luke Skywalker is a little dirty. You can see. He's been played with a lot. His paint's worn down. His lightsaber tip's broken, unfortunately. That's how he was. My dad played with this guy a lot. By the looks of him. Dirt on the back. It's a little hard to see on video, but... Lightsaber still works, I think. Yep. Doesn't have the tip, which is unfortunate. That's okay. Because... I'm not looking to sell them. I actually really like having them. The collecting. <laughs> Let me turn this around. These are the suggested figures for this side. I have some of them, but not all of them. As you'll see. Some other ones that are pretty cool, though. First, we have Han Solo. The classic Han Solo. He doesn't have his gun with him, but they're all in here. I'll show you that at the end. As well as Yoda. <laughs> He's in there for some reason. Han Solo is pretty cool. I like Han Solo a lot. The medical droid? This thing probably breaks a lot. I'm guessing. <laughs> He's cool. Han Solo in Hoth Battle Gear. So that's cool. I like Hoth. That was always a cool movie. The second one. Episode 5. I forget what it's called now. We have a snow trooper. He's really cool. I like his cape. It's in great condition. Really nice. Careful with these guys. We have a... What would have been the gonk. Gonk droid. Power droid. But instead we have an ATST pilot. Really cool. We then have the sand person. Called sand people for some reason, but there's only one, so not the most sensical name. Sensible, sorry. He's cool. His cape is in great condition, as always. That's just how the cape is made. Wait, no, that's just a little dirt. It's okay. Always be cleaned. And then we have one of the cooler ones. The Jawa. He's just completely in his cape. Kind of see his little eyes in there. He's cool. Anyway, then we have Lando Calrissian. Here we go. Cape is nice. Or his little thing. Just call it a cape. It's easier. <laughs> he has some nice. Very nice. I always like his land scene for some reason. We have another Rebel Snow Soldier. He's cool. He's from Attack on Hoth. Or Empire's Attack on Hoth. have a Bosk, I think. Yeah, Bosk. Bosk is a cool one. I like Bosk. Look at those arms. Very long arms. I always like Bosk. We have the best pin <clears throat> Had to move him slightly to get him in there. Um, Bosk is very stiff jointed. That means he hasn't been played with much. And we have the best pin security force. Security guard here. He's cool. I like him. Very nice color, actually. Like a navy blue. The gold accents. And the red. Looks pretty good. And I also like his mustache. Always like the mustaches. Mustaches are great. 
anyway, we have Luke from Bespin. Luke and his Bespin fatigues. Luke Skywalker Bespin fatigues is what he's officially called. Cool. I like him. Okay. Now we're getting to the last few. Darth Vader. Of course. And he still has his lightsaber tip on him. That's always a good sign. He's worth a lot as well. He was probably played with a bit though. Not sure though. Because Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader are very good to play with together. I like his cape thing. A little odd. His lightsaber still extends perfectly, and that looks great. Okay, then we have the assistant medical droid, FX-7. He has a little one arm right there, and all of these are arms. I'm not going to put out all of them, but I'm going to put out one. Here we go. Look, a little arm. That is really cool. Surprised none of them are broken. So you can see... All of them are there. You can move his head around. Look at you. Beautiful. He's nice condition. Great condition. All of these are in pretty good condition. Besides, like, Luke Skywalker, the uh, Tatooine version, all of them are in really good condition. Because my dad had the Luke's land speeder. I don't have it, he doesn't know where it went, but probably was thrown out or sold or something like that. Um, but that's why he has the Luke Skywalker, C-3PO, and R2-D2, I'm guessing. Anyway, this would be Princess Leia in the Bespin gown, but since we don't have that, it's an Ugnaught. He's cool. Don't know what that is, is that a gun or no? Let me see. No, that's just what his attaches his front part. I'll tie it up back there. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed. This is in the Darth Vader case, which is also very old. I. Oh, wait! We have a little surprise here. This is a newer one. I got this at a store for probably like $5. It's like from 1982 or something. Let me see. Oh, 1986, okay. He's a little bit newer. He's not worth as much, but still cool. He's a little sand trooper. For like $5, I mean, I just got him because I could. <laughs> I just put him in the little case right here. And I also nearly forgot to show you Yoda and the blasters. Get him out of there. He has his cane. A little gun fell out somewhere. That's Yoda. He has a cane. He's funny looking. <laughs> Hunched over. Anyway, let me get out the blasters. Here's all the blasters. We also have a snake to go with Yoda, I'm guessing. We have a little bag. Don't know what that goes to. Oh, uh, we have a, another a gun here. Some more little pistols and other blaster varieties. This Expelliarmus. No. <laughs> we have a blaster pistol. I have this big thing. I don't know what this is. It could be Bosk's weapon because Bosk is pretty big. Some other ones here. If you do want to see them, pause the video. But that is going to be it. I do hope you did enjoy. Looking at these old things from the 1970s, mainly 1979, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. And for those of you wondering, I do feel much better after my surgery. <laughs>